What's up, YouTube? You probably didn't think you'd see my face. Like, at all. It's been a while. A lot has been going on. Um, it's been a while. And, uh, I'm gonna be totally real, like... I've been planning to start making videos again. Uh, but this, this is not... This is not the way I wanted to do it. <clears throat> I will be editing this video. I think you'll know as you watch it. I think I might edit this video, but I don't even want to do it. I don't want to do this video. But, like... I feel like, I feel like I owe it to, to Desmond. I mean, I know him as Etika because I, you know, we didn't, we weren't like, we weren't, um, like I didn't go up to New York, hang out with him and stuff like that, like. You know, he checked in on me, but, like, that was, that's about it, you know. Um, I mean, I went to work today, just to give you, like, a breakdown. I went to work today. Um, the news broke around my lunch break at around, like, 2 o'clock, at least for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I live under a rock when I'm at work sometimes. And at, like, 2 o'clock, I saw the news, you know, and... Uh, Man, like that shit, it hit me hard, it hit me really hard, it's really hard for me to make this video, but I owe it to him, I owe it to him, Etika man, I owe, like, I owe it to him, like, I feel like, and y'all may not, y'all may not get me, man, you may not understand, like, I know this is, a, this is like, this video is like real fragmented, like, you're not gonna understand, but, Let me just break down to you why I feel like I owe him this video. I owe it to him. I owe it to him to get my fat ass up, right? Because I went to work. I got up like stupid early in the morning. Went to work. News broke. Cried my eyes out at work. Fucking, you know, went to wrestling. To try to get my mind off of it. You know what I'm saying? Ate some food, some dinner, and then I told myself I was gonna make this video. I was I was gonna not go to work, not not go to work. I was gonna not go to wrestling, but um, you know I decided to actually go. And then you know come home, and then I was like maybe I shouldn't make this video, but I feel like I feel like I had to. So now. You guys remember Remix, Nelson, right? Rest in peace, Nelson. He was also trying to give me, like, advice on, like, keeping up to keeping up with this and making content and, you know, being around you guys. And then he passed. Just out of the blue, right? No warning, no nothing. Just he passed. And when he passed, that hit me like a brick, Right? And I didn't heed his his advice. Like, I didn't listen to him. I just let him pass and let his memory live on, right? So then, Etika, I don't know if y'all remember, but I made a, a video. I made a video a very long time ago. Um, where is it at? Let's see if I can find the the video anyway I made a video about him because like he said in one of his videos he responds to his emails and stuff like that right so first and foremost let me tell you how I, how I met Etika right 
I met him because I was on YouTube. I was super depressed, right? Like, I was going through so much in my life. Like, lost cars. Freaking ex-girlfriend was cheating on me. Son's mom. We had issues. Like, I was broke. I was part-time. Like, I was a bum. I was going through a lot, right? Like, a lot. And I saw his video. There was a video where he... Somebody had clipped it from the stream where he was, like, dancing to the Persona 5 music. And I was... I, like, I grooved to that music, too, right? The, the music was ridiculous. So, I saw him groove into the music, and I was like, yo, like, that dude's a cool-ass dude. So, naturally, when you find a video of a creator that you like, you subscribe and you look through the rest of their catalog. So I was looking through the rest of his catalog and I saw in one of his streams, I just like had it running while I was like doing something in the background. Um, and uh, he said in one of his videos that he responds to his emails. So you know how it is with people with mad subs, mad views. You know, they say one thing, but it's another. So I was like, what do I got to lose? I'll send another email to somebody who don't know me and they won't respond, right? So I sent him this long email telling him, like, all about my life and what I'm doing. Um, I told him, I was like, yo, because, like, in all his streams, he's always donating. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I was like, yo, I've never even donated to you. I just saw your video and to keep it real, like, I'm a fan and, you know, I could use your help. Just basically asking him for help. Um... And essentially, I was saying, like, yo, like, I'll pay for my own flight. I'll walk to New York if I have to. Like, I just want to get on a video with you and just boost my channel up. Right? And the weirdest thing happened. He he responded. Right? And he, the response he gave me was, like, this long, long, like, it's a long response, man. Like, I still have it. Like, I'm looking at it right now, and it's, like, it's, it fucking hurts, man. Um... He sends me this long, detailed, like, detail, like, there's stats and all this stuff in here, like, there's graphs, there's charts, like, there's so much in here that, you know, it says a lot, right? So, not only, not only was he, like, a successful content creator that looked like me, right? Black kid playing video games online, right? He cared about people who hit him up, right? Like he didn't have to do this. He didn't have to. He didn't have to do this at all. Like he didn't have to, but he did, right? And the first, the first sentence of this email, or the the first like chunk of this email is, you put your goddamn soul into that email. Real, recognize real. So I gotta reply. I gotta reply to you, and I'm also going to be real in my response. If I seem like I'm being harsh, trust me, it's not my intention. But YouTube is a harsh platform, and in general, I never sugarcoat that. Right? Then he goes, I grew my channel without asking for collabs or shoutouts from major YouTubers, so my stance on the subject is more conservative. In my personal opinion, collabs and shoutouts can, can, can work, but only if the target channel is already doing something unique and entertaining, entertaining to captivate the audience that's coming over. If there's no content or nothing relevant to that audience, to that audience interest, though, um, then they have no reason to stay, subscribe, or keep up with you, right? Then he gives me, like, a plethora of examples of different YouTubers and their stats and their numbers and stuff like that and the advice that he gave and all this other stuff. Um, and I'm not going to read that part because it, it, it has other people in it. Um, and that's not that's not the point that I'm trying to get out. Um, so he and then he goes, No amount of shout-outs in the world can make up for a lack of content. Even PewDiePie can talk about a channel, but if the creator has nothing engaging going on, then it's useless, and they'll fall at the end of the day. In terms of your channel, I see you grinding, bro, and props for keeping strong through all that fucked up shit, and I'll tell you straight, your content is not ready. Your consistency is non-existent, your content isn't on that engagement level yet, but you have potential. Your commentary can be funny, and one of my favorite videos of yours is this one, and he, he posted my Death Note one. Um... He, and he said, even though I liked that video the most out of everything I saw on your channel, which means he went through my channel and, like, watched my stuff, which he didn't have to do, right? Um, 
even though I like that video out of the the video the most out of everything I saw on your channel, it's not enough. You gotta amp that shit up and push it over the top. You know it's a grind, and you really gotta apply yourself to make it insane. It's like it's at sixty five percent to seventy percent, but to blow up on YouTube, it's gotta be fucking five hundred percent or a thousand percent to a bunch of nines percent. Because the next man is always hungrier and ready to be way more wild, engaging, and captivating with an audience, right? That's like solid, solid advice, right? And instead of me taking that advice, like, you know, shooting off, I let life, like, destroy me again, right? And just, like, hit me in the face. I got stuck, you know, just... Not doing what I'm supposed to be doing in that time period, you know, and it's just like, you know, my man's checked in on me, you know what I'm saying? And I still was like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still not going to do this YouTube thing. I'm still not going to make videos. Like, I'm just not going to do it. It's like spitting in his face, you know what I'm saying? Because the man did, took mad time to take care of. A fellow YouTuber. Not even giving me an easy way out. He made me work for it and I didn't even do it. You fucking gave up on him. Right? And my thing is, it's like, yo, I'm tired of taking advice from people and just not doing it. Right? Because people clearly see a potential. They clearly see, they clearly see something. You know? And, like, I started to watch, like, videos of his, like, mental illness. And I just was like, he'll be alright. You know what I'm saying? Like, he'll be alright. Was my thought, because I have my own stuff going on, right? I'm a grown man. I got my own stuff going on. And I'm just like, he'll be alright, right? He's good. And then it just started to get worse, and then worse, and then worse, and then worse. And I'm like, he's fine. Like, he's got all these people. He probably even want to hear from me. Like, he'll be alright. Like, he's straight. And then, like, I get the news today that he's dead. Two years ago, we were shooting the shit. I'm really tired of these videos, man. Like, I'm really tired of these videos. Like, he, he was a good kid, man. That was a good guy, like... It hurts. Like, I know he's got haters and all that other stuff. This video is not for views. This video is not. I don't care if one person watches this video. Like, I know he's got haters and shit, but, like, he meant something to me. Right? Etika meant something to me. Desmond meant something to me. And I didn't love him while he was here. I didn't show him respect while he was here. He's fucking God, man. Like he's...
really sick of these videos, y'all. I'm sick of these videos. I'm real sick of these videos, man. He meant something to me, bro. And I'm f <laughs> now he check up on him. I didn't take his advice. None of that. We gotta love people while they're here, bro. Like, this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy, man. We gotta love people while they're here. Because then they're just gone. They're just gone. I'm sorry. This is not, this is not how I wanted to come back to YouTube. This is not how I wanted to make content. This is not for money. This is not, I don't even care if anybody sees it. I'm out here sobbing like a kid anyway. But we got to love people while they're here, man. Rest in peace, Edica. Rest in peace. Love me while I'm here, because I'm going to love y'all while I'm here. I'm not making another one of these videos, man. I'm just not. Rest in peace, Edica.